All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real music in real time for real people just like you, just like me. So Nancy Wilson, who oftentimes kind of plays second fiddle to her sister Anne in the group Heart, a uh, really fine guitarist and a decent songwriter in her own right, not as bombastic as a singer compared to her sister, and her sister's a brilliant vocalist, no question. Uh, as a uh, female singer, she is probably in my top five. Um, but it's good to hear Nancy Wilson out there on her own. Um, she's got a brand new record coming out called You and Me. She just dropped the title track to the album. And I got to tell you, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. This goes back to the days of like Dog and Butterfly. And for real hardcore heart fans, this is a nice little detour from, you know, pushing the envelope and trying to be different and recording stuff that doesn't sound like anything the band has ever done. Now, granted, uh, some people might like the constant experimentation. I'm talking more about what her sister has been doing uh, in recent years. Uh, I think Nancy wants to keep the heart legacy alive. I get that impression because um, she really initiated the reunion, even though she was the one in that situation who I think was um, mistreated. Um, but, you know, the two sisters got back together again. Ann Wilson, again, continues to go off on a lot of these tangents that, um, the fans of Heart, especially if you grew up listening to Heart in the 1970s, like I did, I mean, Heart was all over the radio. And the 80s were a good time for Heart as well. But to me, the 70s version of Heart will always be the most organic, the most creative, the most interesting. Uh, there are a whole slew of album tracks that that band uh, has that aren't on the radio that are worth a listen. So I would advise to go back in the catalog and listen to some old heart music. But You and Me is this beautiful acoustic track. It seems to be devoted to Nancy Wilson's mother, which I think is interesting. Um, and again, uh, a nice acoustic guitar with some nice uh, chord changes and really takes you back. Apparently she's been working with Sue Ennis who was really important in the early days, the songwriting days of Heart. Very creative partner in the band who um, gets a few real high profile songwriting credits dating way, way back at the very beginning of uh, the band's history. Um, again, I read a lot of things into this, but I do appreciate the fact that Nancy Wilson is actually recording material that I think her fan base would like to hear. Um, the album is going to have a few uh, really cool surprises in the sense of uh, guest appearances. Sammy Hagar is on the record, and uh, he's doing a, a great duet with Nancy Wilson on Simon and Garfunkel's The Boxer. That's going to be interesting to hear. I'm typically not like too excited about hearing cover tunes. But that's going to be a very interesting collaboration. Uh, she's also got a tune on there with Duff McKagan and Taylor Hawkins, um, and one with uh, Liv Warfield, who is in uh, Prince's Power Generation Band and also was part of a project that Nancy did a couple years back called Road Case Royale. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just a sentimental dude, and uh, when I hear some good old fashioned acoustic guitar work and some great poetry and that atmospheric feel that takes you back to the early days of heart. That, that to me is, you know, prime time. That's the kind of material that I'd like to hear from both Anne and Nancy Wilson. And at least I'm getting it from Nancy. Nancy is not a better singer than her sister, uh, but it's nice to hear her voice uh, instead of her sister's voice. I think at times, because of the bombast that Anne brings, a lot of times the subtlety of the work that they did in the past 
um, gets obscured by this monster voice. And as much as I appreciate that, because again, who else is going to sing Barracuda, right? Uh, nobody. But the point is, Nancy has a real great vocal here. And it's just good to hear. Her. This is her first solo album. It took her a very long time to make a solo album, but apparently all this downtime the world has had lately inspired her to finally uh, get this stuff recorded. So again, the album is coming out next month. You and me, you got to check it out. It's Vintage Heart or it sounds like Vintage Heart, and I think you might enjoy it. All right, I am done with this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.